guys. Um, I just got off the radio, and you know we've got a we've got some challenges that we've had that uh, certainly we've got to uh, address. One is on the defensive end. I thought when they started the second half with three shots, they weren't three made contested jumpers. They were three inside layups. That that really hurt us. And we've, we've got to we've got to show more resistance from the defensive end. I thought our interior defense was was poor. And you know, if teams are going to knock down shots from the perimeter, this team we played only knocked down four threes tonight. They only took eight. So it wasn't the knock, it wasn't the outside shot that was hurting us. It was uh, getting the ball to the rim and. We've got to show some resistance in there and then rebounding. Not that there were a lot of defensive rebounds available for us, but still with Tamir getting six rebounds, our next closest guy too, we've got to, we've got to really find ways to rebound. And our, our, our bigs and maybe some other guards have to help the cause of rebounding. And I thought there was a number of opportunities to grab a couple of loose balls and rebounds that we didn't secure. If we could have done that and secured the possession, we only had four turnovers in the first half. We could have made use of those uh, our possessions. And, and we had some good looks. We shot 48% in the second half. That's a pretty good percentage for us. Um, Austin knocks down some key shots and missed a few others, but he had some good looks. Our team had some good looks, but we really hurt ourselves and made it harder for our, our, ourselves by not defending uh, in the interior. And we just got to do a better job. 46 points in the paint is is, is not uh, a formula to success. That's that's a formula to disaster. So uh, we, we are, we're going to address that and make it tougher on teams to get uh, interior looks. We just have to. Ben, you guys did a pretty good job of controlling the tempo in the first half. And then they had those three quick buckets in the second half. How did that kind of, well, kind of uh, took you out? I said this through? too, and I got off radio and I said, you know, hey, here's a team in Southern Miss that just pressed all year long. They've pressed the, you know, the daylights out of their opponents. And uh, they kind of called the press off. I mean, we did a pretty good job against it. We handled pressure. Our turnovers, for the most part, didn't come against our press. It came, you know, a little bit in transition. It came in the half court, um, but we did a pretty good job. With, with four turnovers to half, so we did establish tempo early. We just didn't knock down shots first half. Second shot to half, we did start knocking those shots down. We started solving their zone, but we attacked their zone better in the second half, and they had to make some adjustments on it. And, uh, but we, we again, we hurt ourselves because we lost sight of the tempo. The tempo was they were getting fast break opportunities. Uh, when we did turn it over, we turned it over really, the, the, the tough part was our turnovers led to baskets, 18 points over turnovers. That's, our turnovers can't lead to their direct scores. And so right there, that 20 point margin there is, 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 is really a big difference in the game. That's giving them 20 points or 18 points off turnovers. Uh, that was a very comfortable margin for them. I, I just wish we could have cut it to single digits or four or five or six and, and seen how the game would go then. We're a better team, obviously, if we could do that, but we couldn't get there. Yep. Toward the end of the first half, that's what you it looks like. That's what you all attempted to do was was cut that lead, cut the lead down, uh, and try and get it to single digits. That felt you know pretty good too that we missed some shots in the first half, and and we could correct the things that we, we in the first half that we needed to correct. But we we didn't correct them defensively. We corrected them offensively. I thought we 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 uh, got good looks to the basket, uh, but we did turn it over more in the second half, and we didn't defend them. Uh, we allowed them to get to the basket, and we had at one point zero team fouls on us. I told our team in, in the timeout, guys, we've got zero team fouls or one team foul. We can afford to be more aggressive. Guys taking two, three dribbles and getting to the rim, we can be aggressive on the dribble uh, with 16 fouls to get. You know, I, 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 did, I think that's a learning curve for us. We've got to take advantage of that. And uh, you know, maybe the fact that we only had zero team, team fouls, maybe it just shows us something about the rest of this. We, we've got to be more aggressive and, you know, not afraid to get in there and really mix it up a little bit and uh, you know we're going to be undersized and I, I'm okay with that but we, we've got to have we've got to match that intensity we've got to go out there and, and, and fight you know uh, you know just in, on the inside even though you're you've got a, a size mismatch you, you, you've got to fight a little bit harder. You guys had a chance to kind of start over the conference was thinking it's not good. some of the troubles were still there does that bother you at all? Well you know uh, first of all we're playing a very good team so when you play a Southern Miss, they're gonna they're gonna test you in some areas. You're you're gonna you know I, I I'm talking about our woes and not getting the ball defended in the post, but you know think about Southern Miss. They're pretty tough. They're one of the toughest teams in our league, and uh, I give them credit for knowing where their bread is buttered. They got the ball in the rim. They don't sit out there just jacking threes. And a lot of teams do. They don't. They said, hey, let's get the ball. Let's not settle. Let's take it to the basket. And I thought they found different guys at different points. 
they had good balance. They had uh, three guys in doubles and two other guys with nine and eight, and they, they got the ball where they needed to get it to. And, you know, I might have liked to see us follow them more in there, or at least double team or get the ball out of there. But we gave up some deep post position. And, and so, yeah, that's a challenge of ours. We're going to have to come back. We, we, the same thing happened against, against Harvard. We gave up deep post position. Our post guys gave up position and, and were scored on probably as easy as they've been all year in the, in the last two games. So we've got to address that. That's an area of concern for us right now. With this team's youth, every game is a, a learning process and a teaching moment. How quickly are you hoping that, that since conference play started tonight? Well, we've got a smart team, and we've got a team that understands, uh, you know, I think our purpose and, 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 you know, can recognize pretty well what our strengths and weaknesses are. I think bounce back. Whenever we've had some games, we've, we've shown the ability to bounce back, and uh, we've even bounced back from half to half. So we did bounce back on the offensive end of the, the, the spectrum. We just didn't bounce back defensively. We shot 28% in the first half, 48% in the second. That's that's bouncing back, but we didn't bounce back in the area of defense. That's pretty important, too. So that is a learning experience. We, we can't just bounce back in one area. We've got to really secure the defensive uh, end of the floor and make it, a, make it much tougher. Our start to the second half was troubling because I think if we could have just gotten some stops to start the second half, I think it might have been a different game, at least a little a different complexion for the game. And then, you know, then, then it makes it a little tougher on your opponents. Austin? You had to, you started, you were working the offense, you had the shots in the second, first half, they weren't falling. Why did you guys tell yourself when you got out there in the second half? Because you kept working, the shots started going in. Was it just a matter of you guys telling yourselves, it's working, we just have to get the shots? Right, we were getting a little bit more, so we knew they started falling back a little bit more. The, we just wanted to get the same movement. And we knew the corners were open, so I was running corner to corner, trying to get the looks, and my teammates were able to find me. But I was able to get good looks at the basket. I made a couple. Did it surprise you somewhat that you all were able to get your shots when you needed, uh, w that you were trying to get as far as open looks? You know, the defense really didn't put a lot of pressure on you out in the half court. Right. I think the zone they play, they allowed me to get shots, which isn't very usual. But my teammates did a really good job of finding me today. Uh, Max, Tamir, Keith, they were all, I mean, I was behind the shots, but they were able to find me at the right time and let me get a good look at the basket. Are there any more questions? Thanks, guys. Uh, I don't know if we'll see anybody in Tulsa.